Hey guys, let's get right to it. So today we are talking about visa processing times for the UK. Now I just applied for my family visa renewal and because it is a renewal, I applied within the UK. Now I submitted my online application to the home office on May 8th. The earliest biometrics appointment I could get was May 20th. So for all visa types, whether you are doing the family route like me or the youth mobility scheme visa, your process, your visa comes in two parts. The application that you submit online to the home office and the biometrics appointment where you send off all of your supporting documents. You have to have both. And really the countdown to your result only really starts after your biometrics appointment, because that is when all of your supporting documents are finally sent off to the home office. And obviously the home office can't make a decision on your application without the supporting documents. So I received my result from the home office, which came in an email on June 13th. So after my biometrics appointment, that was about three weeks or 17 business days. Now, my result came as an email because again, I am renewing a visa while in the UK, but depending on your type of application, you may get your result in the post, um, especially if they need to send back your passport. You may get your application and your passport and all that stuff back with your result in the post. Now, I paid for the basic application. When you go through the process of applying, if you are in the UK, typically you get two options, the basic application, or you can pay for a priority service. So the priority service or the priority application, when I did it this year, 2023, it's about 800 pounds more expensive than your traditional application, but you are supposed to get a result on your visa one business day after your biometrics. So if you are eligible and you're in the UK and you are offered that priority service, it's definitely something to think about because you get a result so much sooner. But if you aren't in a rush, 800 pounds extra is quite a lot. Now, just two days later, I get my email. I've been approved. My application has been successful. Two days later, I received my new biometrics residence permit. Now, again, I received mine in the post, but if you are applying from outside of the UK, your new biometrics or maybe your first biometrics, you will need to pick that up when you arrive in the UK. If you have a previous biometrics like I do, in your result email, um, they specify how to destroy your old biometrics and send it back to the home office. If you don't send back old biometric residence permits, you can get fined up to a thousand pounds. Now, just a side note about the biometric residence permit. I hate to say that the BRP. So basically the UK government is phasing out these cards which honestly, thank God, <laughs> I don't know why they still do cards now, but they are about to phase them out. So for example, even though my latest visa that I've just been approved for is good until 2026, my newest BRP expires in 2024, which made me panic. But if you actually read the guidance that comes with the card, it basically says that yes, the cards are going to expire at the end of 2024, but that is just because at that point we will no longer have these cards. So my visa is still good until 2026. It's just the card itself is going to expire and we will no longer be using cards after 2024. So if you happen to be in the same situation, do not panic. Now you may be thinking, well, what if I'm on a different visa or I am waiting on a result for a different visa? Now, of course, this is just my experience, but I have reached out to a bunch of different fellow expats. Um, one person said they got a result within one week of their biometrics appointment, which I was very jealous of, but many seem to be getting results sort of between three to five weeks after your biometrics appointment. Now online for my visa, the home office says you should get a result within eight weeks and the biometrics appointment people, they told me I would get a result within two to six months. So obviously both of them were completely off, but I have seen for a lot of different visa types, 
lately, of course this won't be for everybody, but lately people have been getting results between three and five weeks after your biometrics. Will I get status updates on my visa? No. <laughs> No, you won't, and it is deeply frustrating. So you will not receive any updates, any progress updates, or any notices of like how your visa is progressing. You will hear nothing until your final result. And unfortunately, there is really nobody that you can call or email or reach out to to ask about your visa. It's very much, you just have to sit tight until they contact you with the result. If you are in the middle of this process and you are waiting for a visa result or perhaps you're in the middle of applying for a new visa, please know <laughs> it sucks and it is so hard and frustrating, um, but I've been through it. I've been through about five visas now. It is tough, it is stressful, it is exhausting, but it is worth it and you will do just fine. You just gotta take a deep breath, try your best and then wait which is so much easier said than done. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below. Definitely check out this video about how much money you should be bringing to the UK when you finally move here after a successful visa result. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.